On Wednesday, the 22nd of February, we're going to be hosting a very special 12 hour live stream here on AFTV. We're going to be raising funds for the victims of the devastating earthquake in Turkey and Syria. We're bringing together all your favorite programs, plus as well your favorite presenters on AFTV and also around the football community here on YouTube. All coming together to do this special 12 hour stream where we can raise as much funds as possible for those victims of that deadly earthquake. So join us on Wednesday the 22nd of February from 12 p.m. till 12 a.m. Hi, welcome to AFTV. We've just been at Aston Villa 4-2 here at Villa Park. James, <laughs> what a game. What a game. Yeah, could have been a very different fan camp. Yeah. The, the, the team deserved it, let's be real. I mean, the Odegaard chance, the Nketiah chance, two of them actually hit the crossbar, did well with one of them. We deserved the win. Um, I'm really nervous about our defending. Let's get the negatives out of the way. I'm really nervous about the goals we scored. They're just so easy. You know, you look. You talk about the gifts we gave City earlier in the week. Again, Zinchenko gives it away, and then they just—it just feels a bit non-existent the defending on their goals. But flip to the positives. I always felt that their openings there in the second half created a load of chances. Every player kind of did something good and something bad. Yeah. You know, I thought Saliba, Gabriel in that second half, they had a lot of one-on-one -on -one defending to do, did it brilliantly. Mm -hmm. First half though, really poor on the goals. You look at Zinchenko, gives away the ball, but then gets that goal to put us back in it. I thought Jorginho was really, really good. And, and if anyone deserves a winner, it was him. Um, Martinelli made a good impact, and even though Trossard was doing well, and look, they found a way. They Isn't that what way. champions do, apparently? And, and, and we did that, so well done to the team. Arteta, any words on Arteta? He made some substitutions. We were questioning some. We saw yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Fabio Vieira um, enter the field at times and was like, oh, what's going on here? I'm not going to pretend I wasn't complaining about them. I was. I was thinking you're going like for like again. Can we not mix it up? Can we not ask a different question? But we won. So who am I to then come on here and say, well, actually, we should have done this or that? Ultimately, we got it over the line. And and the team got better as the game went on. This wasn't just hoofing it into the box and hoping something would happen. They stuck to their principles. They they were getting in behind. They were creating some really good chances. Mm -hmm. um, and and yeah, they found a way. But no one Arteta, fair play. You know he's. He's managed a 4-2 win, yeah. so, what, so what can you say? Yes, I have questions, and yes, there are things I, I wasn't so sure about, but they came through, they won the game, and at least we've asked a question of City, at least we've stopped that rut of bad results. Yeah. And this is a really good place to come and get a result as well. Unai Emery saw how they had how he had the team set up, difficult to break down, but in the second half, this wasn't just taking the one or two chances mm -hmm. you get. We really, I mean, 4-2 is, is actually the right result, really. So, um, yeah, well done to the okay, team. Let, let me end with just asking you this. I'm going to ask probably everyone this today. Go on. Do you start believing? now uh, or do you, are you still like whoa slow down game at a time or are you back back on the top of the league you know we've got a favorable run um okay first and foremost we have to believe as fans we've got to if we believe the players will believe and to a degree that's our job to do that so yeah absolutely from that sense if i'm being really honest if i'm going head over heart the goals we're conceding that's too easy i don't think champions can see goals like that that's the one thing but hopefully that's just a part of a minor blip and then we go back to the defence we saw at the beginning of the season, clean sheets at Wolves, clean sheets at Brentford, at Chelsea and things like that. If they can tighten up, then of course you've got every chance. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.